Hello again Strokewop Welcome back today I'm bringing you another build video for the mage in Warhammer Chaos Bane Avantir and this one is for the Ult1 set Defender of Ult1 It's kind of a tanky set that's why I've called it Ult1's Bunker The build itself provides up to 225% damage for you and your teammates up to 60% damage reduction for your teammates and you together with some more for yourself but the one you can share from the damage reduction is 60% that your teammates can get and you also share 10% crit chance so we are stacking uh, the heroic etheric vortex together with the superior magic storm together with blinding lights uh, mastered together with uh, the set bonuses then we get extra damage reduction from Phantom Blade Heroic from the Blade of Azire and uh, we are using the Sentinel that gives us 100% damage, 10% crit chance and extra 20% damage reduction we are using some passives for extra damage reduction extra damage etc so we do have uh, enough damage to not be too bad it's not as much damage as a dragon tamer but it's definitely way tankier than a dragon tamer although I'm not saying that you can build a tanky dragon tamer setup if someone wants a tanky dragon tamer setup let me know I can always give you some screenshots of skills and god skills so I hope you enjoyed the build I hope it's to your liking it's definitely a great build for both soul pushing or sewing uh, different content or for team play. I would suggest it for anyone who is kind of bored of playing the Dragon Tamer build. The skills I've used for this setup in the recorded gameplay footage were the ones you can see here. Phantom Blade Heroic from the Blade of Azire, Bread of Fire, the basic version because it's fire damage and it only costs 5 points so it's more than enough uh, to heal us when we need to by spending energy and by proccing the set bonus to heal when using fire skills then Etheric Storm Superior to proc this bonus when casting a magic spell reduce the damage taken by all players for a few seconds but you can see later when I'm showing you some alternative setups uh, some other choices for here then Binding White uh, gain magic damage it will proc the the extra damage reduction from the set and it gives us extra healing energy regain it's amazing Binding White mastered then a step between worlds it's magic damage so it again can proc this extra damage reduction so there are again options uh, how you can go on about it you can maybe remove this extra magic damage and go for a basic one but it will not proc uh, this damage reduction but then you would be able to upgrade this one for a bit more damage but uh, again we don't use this for damage so probably not the best idea and then etheric vortex heroic this does extra fire burning damage so this should be uh, able to proc uh, that healing that health restored I'm not sure whether it does but it should uh, then for extra damage reduction I decided to stack things like quay shield mastered 10% damage reduction and 10 HP restored uh, when consuming energy so when we use that we are consuming energy and we can end up healing a bit if we want to uh, then another 10% damage reduction uh, along with other bonuses is here then another 20% uh, damage reduction but it's increasing our cooldowns by 20% but also gives us extra 10% energy cost um, to heal more when consuming energy uh, is here so I think this 20% cooldown reduction you can rework later I'm gonna show you in the god skills section and after the god skills section I'm gonna show you some alternative setups for the skills as well so pay that uh, uh, in mind and this is a bit of extra DPS this is the more DPS oriented setup uh, and I have two more setups that I wanna show you one with a different uh, spending instead of using continuity mastered using uh, fortress of willpower and the other one would be a more uh, defensive oriented which is stacking fortress of willpower together with continuity mastered but it's not investing that much heavy on the damage 
so there there will be those three setups i can show you and i will quickly mention later in the god skill section about what you can do if you want to get something from this god skill tree from the second god skill tree so i hope uh, you understand why this is selected do this chain reaction you have one two three skills with cooldown which can proc it and it gives you up to 400 percent extra crit damage pretty neat and this is a bit of extra uh, damage as well but as you can see the main damage would be from phantom blade heroic it's not as much as a dragon tamer set build but uh, this is a very tanky build and it's very good for team play or solo and with the damage reduction stacking you can push easily chaos 8 even legendary ranks i was using for recording the chaos 7 footage you saw was legendary punishment I was uh, getting some extra damage squeezed from there, but you can probably use legendary reinforcement with 30-35% chance so it can proc more often. If you want a mixture between damage and damage reduction or you can use one of those for the extra damage reduction. Up to you what you would uh, prefer. For easier content where you don't need that much damage reduction, of course, punishment is uh, the preferred choice or reinforcement. Otherwise, go for something with uh, damage reduction. The healing is also not bad, so maybe you might want to try it sometime. So, find your balance and use whatever works best for you. For the god skills, option 1 is this thing here that you're seeing. It is what I was using and you can see I even had one unspent favor point. So you can spend it however you like, HP, damage uh, or anything else that you might like. Uh, Etheric Storm Superior gives you extra bonus damage buff, so it is nice and I like it. But if you want you can even try and use Aether Blast Superior, up to you guys so what you want. This would give you huge damage uh, bursts. Uh, but it won't uh, boost your extra damage all the time. You can even use this one, up to you. There's uh, multiple options what you can do. Now let me show you quickly another setup. One alternative option would be this one. So you can see we've removed Continuity Mastered which gives us extra 20% cooldown reduction. And since I've taken different uh, skill points I'm not taking this 10% uh, health, but I'm also not losing the 5% the health. So I'm only losing 5% uh, health uh, by not taking this, but I'm also losing 4% crit damage, 40% crit damage. So you, we actually have 16% cooldown reduction, which before was 20% but was negated by, by the cooldown reduction from continuity. I still think continuity is fine because we can handle this 20% cooldown reduction by going all the way there, getting that extra 4% and it negates it and brings us to zero. But here we're 16% more than that. The only thing is this works when you're not static and this works when you are static only. This also gives us energy cost, this doesn't. So this is one option, keep it in mind. And if I were to go for the other setup, which is like this, we would have uh, something that still works okay for us. With the 16% cooldown reduction. And here the skills again would be using this etheric storm then we would be using for the of willpower arcane secrets like this we can upgrade arcane binding that way to to this one and that's fine that's gonna work fine for us as well it's a okay setup it is worth it another option would be if someone wants to use arcane manifestation instead of etheric storm so you're losing damage but you can take some extra damage reduction that's a lot of points that's 20 uh, something points i think so that's that's the option there and you can still maybe take this one or maybe go for 15 or 10 percent here up to you uh, and then maybe do something like let's see how far we can take this can we go here? We can go here. Then one, two, three, four. Probably not worth it. So we can probably do something like uh, 
this cooldown reduction and that's that's kinda gonna be fine that's another setup the skill points for this setup again put the god skills don't use this one though but you can use it if you if you have points if you don't have anything better to put uh, use it but let's take arcane secrets fortress of willpower arcane secrets and uh, uh, using the god skill this is another option so it's it's not gonna be all the time but with all the cooldown reduction stacking it's not gonna be so bad so this is uh, something to keep in mind cane binding can be upgraded for 20 percent there's those six points i think the best way to spend them would be to probably upgrade breath of fire for a bit more damage so this setup isn't so bad and it it would work as well so keep that in mind there's alternative setups pick the one you like find your balance so for harder content you would be using more damage reduction probably for easier content you can stack some more damage the gear would be as expected the Oot 1 set defender of Oot 1 so you want that set for the damage reduction and healing uh, but mostly for the damage reduction uh, needless to say you want cooldown reduction on the helmet and you want HP and armor on any piece you can get. Cost reduction I would suggest to stay away from. The, the less cost reduction the more the healing. So try to get the highest possible HP and cooldown reduction and armor on the helmet. On the legs and chest try to get the highest possible armor and HP. Maybe a bit of energy and health regeneration resistance to damage over time is not bad. And then for the boots, movement speed bonus, it's not necessary, so don't beat yourself up. If you can get it, get armor, health, and maybe, again, as I said, energy resistance to damage over time, health regeneration are not bad bonuses. When counter spell is fixed, counter attack damage would be nice, but currently counter spell is very low and very bad, so I'm not making builds around it. For the gauntlets, you want flat damage, armor, HP and crit damage i'm missing crit damage so i would happily sacrifice this counter attack damage i've got here or the damage over time for a bit of uh, crit damage on the amulet you do want a phase shift amulet nearby enemies take more damage this would boost your damage of uh, phantom blade heroic so you want things like armor hp flat damage crit chance cooldown reduction which I'm missing so this wood quality if the wood quality was uh, cooldown reduction it would have been a perfect roll because I've got some crit damage there as well so armor cooldown reduction crit chance crit damage damage and HP is what you want so instead of wood quality I would rather have either a bit of HP or a bit of cooldown reduction Cooldown reduction is not that important for this build. You can still get plenty of cooldown reduction with the Ring of Radiance. You can still keep your your uptime of the skills uh, at maximum and you can still spam enough and you can still get the this Chain Reaction even without getting uh, that much cooldown reduction but it's always nice to have it. So Ring of Radiance helps if you don't have enough cooldown reduction. If you have enough cooldown reduction, I would suggest uh, something like Ring of Cain's Fury. Again, good rolls, uh, the same as the amulet. You want some health, damage, that is what, crit chance, cooldown reduction, crit damage and maybe some armor. Um, another ring that might be worth trying is Ring of Resonance for stunning and a little bit of damage. But it's not gonna do that much for you, but it's always nice. When you're doing higher level content, you would want things like Ring of Denial. Some damage reduction for the price of damage, but also giving you extra HP. Or a Dragon Ring. Again, giving you some damage reduction, but you will need to have a good crit chance to proc it. And uh, it's not bad choice. So, Crystalline Ring is also good, uh, if you have a good road one, it's not so bad, extra HP and extra healing increase is not the worst thing uh, for this set. 
And Ring of Holtec also can be nice because it would give you some extra health restored stacking with the health restored here. As long as you have good rolls, that's nice. Also, Ring of Dexterity increases the damage of Phantom Blade. It is a uh, worth a uh, worthy ring, it's uh, nice mentioning that extra 100% damage, which is double the damage of Phantom Blade, is totally worth it. And Phantom Blade again gives you some extra cooldown, uh, not cooldown, but damage reduction, so keep that in mind. You want Blade of Azire for the heroic Phantom Blade, and on it you want something similar to this, except you don't want the counter attack damage, you would want something uh, else there. So you want armor piercing, you want cooldown reduction, you want crit damage, you want fat damage, you want HP and when you look at the other blades I've got there, there aren't many more options uh, for what you can get. Definitely try and get one without the cost reduction and uh, what what you could get is either damage over time or I'm not sure what else would be better. I mean damage over time is not the best stat for this build so the final stat is probably just whatever drops just get those uh, five major stats you want then for the scepter for the relentless sentinel you can see the one I'm using has armor piercing cooldown reduction crit chance crit damage flat damage but no HP instead it has wood quality so you would want instead of that wood quality I've got you would want HP there and then you would have a perfect roll. I have another one that doesn't have the cooldown reduction and has uh, damage over time and also has counter attack uh, damage instead of uh, crit damage so you can see why I've been using this one here. Now let's show you some more gameplay. The way to play the build is not that difficult we're just kind of grouping up the enemies rushing in then forming a bunker with the dome with the blinding white and by standing static for a while to proc the sentinel. Then we just start uh, using our blade of azire and we also have to kind of cycle through our cooldown skills which are the dome, the blinding light, the teleporting skill which is step between worlds and just make sure we use them all the time so we can keep going with the chain reaction to keep it at 4 stacks. Unfortunately while you're teleporting you're not standing static and you may not be proking uh, the sentinel. Also if needed make sure to dodge certain enemies attacks if you're not stacking enough damage reduction. If certain things can one shot you then avoid certain attacks but if you can tank them like here where I'm face tanking the boss. You can just focus on cycling through the skills and spamming or just holding the button for Phantom Blade and enjoy the damage and tanking abilities of the build. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you did feel free to subscribe to my channel for more updates regarding Warhammer, Chaos Bane, Torchlight Frontiers, Wolsen, Borderlands 3 or other Wooter content. You can also let me know whether you liked or disliked the video by either clicking the corresponding buttons or leaving some comments with info in the comment section. Thank you again for watching folks, keep it cool and until next time, goodbye.